Joined now by former University of Arizona Wildcat Athletic Director, now the AD, among other titles, at Alabama, and that would be Greg Byrd. He joins us via Skype. Been wanting to get Greg on board after he left the U of A, went underwater for a couple of months to recharge, re-energize. He came up for air and said, I think I'm going to give Nick Saban a contract extension, and I'm going to give some contracts around and about. I figured five, six weeks into the job, it'd be good to catch up with him. Uh, it's been a busy stretch for you right off the bat since leaving the U of A, Greg. Let's just talk about how it's been for you down there. Well, uh, good morning, uh, Brad. It's, it's been it's been great. Uh, uh, just like the people at the University of Arizona and the coaches and the staff, there's so, so many wonderful people there. There's a lot of wonderful people here. And i uh, been spending a lot of time uh, with our, our coaches, all of our coaches for all of our sports, uh, trying to get to know our student athletes uh, just a hair here at the end of the year. Uh, and then at the same time to get out around the state, even around around the region and get to know the Alabama faithful. Um, so it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but uh it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun and really enjoying get to know everybody out here. Greg, when you first took the job, was it on your mind immediately? In all seriousness, I've got to extend Nick Saban. Well, as you can imagine, uh, the, the success of Alabama football under Coach Saban, and obviously there was a lot of success in the past under under Coach Bryan as well, and other coaches. Uh, how you manage your football program here is very important. And so one of the first questions I asked the president and uh, our, our, our CFO here and a few other people is tell me about Coach Saban's contract situation. Uh, he and I had a discussion about it as well. And then uh, spent some time looking at the marketplace at the same time too, looking at uh, the impact that he has made and his wife, uh, Terry, have made here at, at the University of Alabama. Um, and it was something that I wanted to be able to address here. It had been about uh, almost three years since his last contract extension. And I uh, wanted to send a very significant message uh, to him uh, about how much, uh, as the AD, I value, obviously, the job that he's done. And at the same time, too, send a message to our fan base that Coach Saban's going to keep coaching here. And I think he's made it pretty clear that he's going to finish his coaching career here, which we're thrilled about. And so we uh, signed him to a new eight-year agreement. And uh, I, I couldn't have been more excited to, to get that done. And, and we're obviously pleased at the job that he's done in the past. It's, it's incredible. And we're very, very pleased that he'll be the coach for many more years to come as well. Are you going to schedule U of A or ASU in football? Uh, no, not, there's uh, no plans to, uh, to, to schedule one another at this point. Uh, I, uh, I, did, I was out in Phoenix for a couple days last week and, Saw Coach Rodriguez and saw Coach Graham said hello to both of them. Got to chat chat with Rich for quite a while, which was nice. And uh, but at no plans as as of right now. Stay well. Appreciate the visit as always. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, guys.